Hi friends, in this video today I want to talk to you about monetization of YouTube channels or even on other platforms like blogs, newsletters or Instagram, but mostly focusing on YouTube because that is also where I mostly create. Now, this topic is specifically interesting because I think that there is a lot of information around the topic of you need at least 1000 subscribers on YouTube to start earning money. Now that of course is completely correct because you do need those 1000 subscribers to be able to monetize on YouTube with the advertising that YouTube provides for your channel. Now the same thing is also true for things like super chats, applause, as well as memberships. Those are then also after that 1000 subscriber mark and some of those even after higher marks as well. Now, all of those things are, again, the income that you can generate from YouTube directly by having those 1000 plus subscribers. But what do you do if you haven't reached that goal, but you already want to start making some money through your platform that you have on YouTube or any other way? And I actually have a handful of things that I want to share with you here, things that I also have experience with, that I have worked with, and also am still working with. Now something I want to insert here before we jump into the rest of the video is that this video is out of my perspective as a tech slash knowledge YouTuber. This might be different if you are a vlogger, but I think that you can of course find your twist of these ideas and of course make that work too. And the first thing I want to share here is of course something that's called affiliate marketing. Now there are all kinds of different kinds of affiliate marketing that you can do. You can hardcore hammer down on a product and share only videos about that stuff to basically scream at the top of your lungs that other people should buy this product. You can SEO optimize so that only your videos are found for that product and all of those kind of things. However, that's definitely not the type of marketing that I am talking about in terms of affiliate marketing here. What I am mostly doing with affiliate marketing is that I talk about products, I talk about situations, stories, my setup and all kinds of those things. And then I just simply link to those products. I link to those services that I use when I make tutorials about them, when I share something about those things. And of course there are sometimes more obvious advertising like situations where it might be a review and I might even have gotten a review unit to do this video with. But at the end of the day, I am trying to keep honest or be honest about what I'm sharing. I am trying to bring you good information, valuable information. And then it just makes sense for me to also include those links, which are affiliate links to those products, services, and other things so that I get a little bit of a kickback for those links. And it just wouldn't make sense to link to those things without having those affiliate partnerships if they are there, because that means that I'm leaving money on the table and this way I'm basically getting paid for providing a service of information and hopefully being helpful. And nobody really has to use those links. So that's one way of affiliate marketing that I do. Another way of affiliate marketing would be to be somewhat of an ambassador so that you actually advertise something because you are really bound to that product or um, service and you're a fan of that service or product. And then you continuously talk about it as you also use those products. And as long as you're transparent about that, I think that there's also no harm in that. Now, I can think about all kinds of different situations where that might be interesting. I could see something like that happening with Canva, for example, for someone who is working a lot with that platform for creative design work and similar things, you can advertise that. And I actually also have a link for that because I think it is a really good product for the creation of thumbnails and similar things. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that that, for example, is the only tool that I would ever use for that because I do my own thumbnails in Sketch or Photoshop or Affinity Photo, and those are completely other tools. But that, of course, gives me the freedom to talk about all of those tools and stay flexible. And I can, of course, link to all of them as well. Now, to get started with affiliate marketing, you usually have to sign up for those different systems that you might want to link toward. For example, one of the most obvious ones, of course, is the Amazon Affiliate Partner Program. And there, I think that the regulation is that pretty much anyone can register an account 
and you have to make at least one sale in the course of a certain time frame so that they don't disable your account. However, they also are that flexible that they re-enable your account if that didn't happen in that designated time frame and you, for example, weren't big enough. Because of course, those links are also only going to help you if people are actually also going to click on them and purchase a product through those links and unless you have enough views to garner that kind of interaction, this might not be a valuable information or a valuable tool for you. However, I have seen a handful of channels in the past few months where I think, yeah, they don't have the 1000 subscribers, but they're making a couple hundred views on every video, sometimes even a couple thousand views. But let's say you have a product like the Zoom Track P4 that I've talked about, or like now with the ATM Mini or the Zoom F6 or something like that, and let's say that video gets a thousand views and you get 10% to click on the link. That means you have a hundred clicks onto that link to that product. Let's say 1% of those purchase the product, which would be one person out of those 100 that clicked the link to begin with. Now with a product like the Zoom Podtrack P4, that's I think something like seven euros or so in affiliate earnings through Amazon, for example. So it is not necessarily insignificant because a lot of people that have less than a thousand subscribers, for example, they get those 4,000 watch hours relatively easy. Sometimes you get a couple 10,000 views before you actually get monetized. I think in my case, I had around 200,000 views before I got monetized on this channel. So it was pretty significant. So that is definitely a way that you can get started to earn some money as a YouTuber. And you can use similar techniques for blogs or Instagram profiles or other things as well. And if you wanna learn more about this type of income, of course you can leave a comment down below or we can discuss that on my Discord server, which you will also find linked in the description below. Now, one of the next ideas would be to create your own products. Now, I would have to say that this is probably not the first thing that I would do, even with merchandising, clothing and stuff like that, because if you are under 1000 subscribers, chances are you don't really have that tightly knit community or a big community or big enough community to actually garner the support that you would need to actually earn significant amounts of money through those avenues. Specifically with merchandising, for example, the printing and product costs are generally so high on t-shirts and similar things that it just not really makes any sense. I would much rather create more videos instead of trying to design t-shirts or stuff like that or hoodies to then try to offer those because it just isn't worth the effort. So that's something that I would personally not necessarily focus on unless you're planning to really build a clothing brand, but that is a different topic and it is approached differently than for example, trying to just simply do merchandising with your avatar or logo or something like that on there. In this area, I even have heard about bigger YouTubers. I think Graham Stefan talked about it at some point as well, that it just didn't make sense for him really to make merchandise. It is a nice to have for building a community and also maybe having something to interact about or have something that is visible that you can actually recognize when you are meeting someone on the streets or stuff like that. So that part is really cool about that but I would much rather create videos instead of creating that merchandising because it's just not financially worth it, at least not in the beginning. From there, however, I would jump over to products and services online, and that might be a different story. Mostly because if you sell a product online, that is usually a high profit margin. Let's say, for example, you have an online course, which you have created with the information knowledge that you are providing on your channel as well. That might actually be something that is really interesting because let's say you sell that for 49 US dollars and you have a hosting plan or stuff like that. Of course, there are monthly costs tied to that. But if you have someone purchase that course, you have almost 100% of that in your pocket and you can then pay the fee for the teaching platform like Teachable or Skillshare is a different platform where you don't have any hosting fees and you can just host your classes there and earn something based on the minutes someone actually watches your class. So there are tons of options with the online distribution of information or products, maybe eBooks, some kind of Lightroom presets. Like there are so many ways that you can make that work. So that might be interesting. 
However, what I find more interesting, because with those products, again, you have the issue that you have to find enough people to actually purchase those things, and it might not be worth it to actually create certain things before actually having a significant following, but for services, that might be a bit of a different story. And this actually is how I made my money throughout the last few years, and it is kind of separate from YouTube, but at the same time, it is also connected. And that is providing consultant services as well as just simple freelance services in this type of niche. For example, I've been doing podcast editing for a service. I've been doing website work and administration setups and server work, those types of things, programming solutions for people, and also consultancy in the area of business processes that need improving, productivity hacks, as well as just simple marketing, website improvement helps and tips, as well as YouTube tips, podcast tips, setup guides, and also just calls to coach people throughout the whole process. Those things are really interesting because they don't really need you to invest any time and effort beforehand to just simply offer something. You don't have to create a ebook. You don't have to create designs for t-shirts to sell or any types of templates. You don't really have to even build a website. Simply putting it out there, the information that you are someone that provides a certain service or that you're available for consulting work might already be enough so that someone finds you. So you don't have the upfront cost of actually creating the product beforehand but you can already put it out there that you are available. You can put that onto your Facebook, your LinkedIn, even on Instagram or on YouTube, mentioning it at end of videos or even creating a video specifically advertising your services and making yourself available like that. The great thing about this type of service offer is that it's not necessarily bound to your subscriber count like with most of the other things. Like for example, if you are advertising affiliate products, you usually are not going to earn hundreds of dollars from the get-go. That is based on the fact that you just don't have the amount of people subscribing to these services or uh, purchasing these products through those links. Even for myself, for example, right now at about 3,600 subscribers, my affiliate earnings are somewhere between 50 euros and 300 euros on a monthly basis. So the span is really big and it's not necessarily something that I can totally rely on yet. Now services are a bit of a different story because you just need one customer to purchase a consultancy session for one hour for let's say 100 US dollars and then you already made that amount of money and it might even be recurring if you are doing consultancy work on a weekly or monthly basis. So that's the great benefit there that you don't really have to sell as many packages as you would for example have to sell products on Amazon to actually make a significant income from that. Now these are the options that I wanna share with you today in this video. You have the options to make money with advertising, of course, but that is limited because you have to wait until the 1000 subscriber mark. However, you don't have to wait for this type of offering either through affiliate links in the video description, making videos about products specifically, and that way using the affiliate income that you can earn from that. And of course, you can also sell products or services either with your own time or with something like an ebook or similar things. The options are really endless. Now in the last area, you can really get started with barely anything. But one of the helpful things, of course, would be a newsletter. And there I actually just recently published a video talking about SendFox. And that is a platform where you can actually start a newsletter. And with that also a sign up page, which would be really helpful because it can give you the opportunity to share what you want to offer. And then people sign up to that newsletter so that you can stay in contact with them. And the SendFox platform actually gives you the ability to use it up to 1000 subscribers completely for free. And then it's a lifetime deal and not a monthly fee. So that's a video that I'm also gonna be linking down in the description below and at the end of this video. Now I hope this video was helpful or inspiring. If it was, I would appreciate a thumbs up. That always helps out a lot. If you have any questions around the topic, you can leave those in the comment section down below, or we can start a discussion on the Discord server linked in the description as well. Now with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day, make it your life, create something around your YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.